Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer to peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's basically all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's too small. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Good afternoon, everybody. How are we doing? Let's just sort this blank screen out. Get rid of that. There we go. And we're done. Woohoo! All right. Anybody notice a difference in the markets today? It looks like uh, Bitcoin has just got back its ratio of 1 to 100. Uh, from uh, from CoreCoin, sailing past that like ratio of 100 to 1 of uh, $188. I think it's more than that, actually. I think CoinDance is a little bit behind, to be honest. But anyway, let's crack on with it. This is the crypto forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network. So we've got Bitcoin with 0.6% of the hash rate, Bcrash with one7 and CoreCoin with 97.5. Network nodes, same as they ever were. Ever since November 15, 2018, when Bitcoin, when Bitcoin went back to the original protocol. Uh, transactions, Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Near the 70% range, that's uh, 68.3. Bcrash dropping well below their 2%, they're like 1.5, leaving CoreCoin with 30.2. Block size, again, Bitcoin winning, that's 49.7, so that's near 50%, leaving uh, leaving four, leave, yeah, less than, like, less than, oh, so like less than, less than 50.1% for the other two to squabble over. Uh, B crash, 2.9, cool coin, 47.4. Let's see who's been mining what, and then we'll have a look at the B crash miners. Because uh, this is going to be quite a funny one. So um, just keep an eye out for the size of the blocks here that uh, Hathor is mining. But uh, as we're going down, let's just play uh, spot the biggest block on B crash. <laughs> so we've got uh, 278. Uh, that's like the biggest one there so far. Yeah, looks like looks like 278 might be the biggest block on the B crash column that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Core coin hasn't changed. Remember, they've got the one megabyte block size cap, so they're purposely restricting themselves. But we know why, because they're just purposely trying to destroy Bitcoin. 
well, cool coin as it is now. You know, it's not Bitcoin. You cannot control Bitcoin. You cannot stop Bitcoin. The only thing that can stop Bitcoin is itself, which is the block reward halving. If there are not enough transactions on chain in order to support the miners, is the only way um, Bitcoin could be destroyed, which is why cool coin went to the effort that they did to steal the ticker prevent people from using it but still encouraging people to buy it to just completely confuse people and i can see why it's easy to confuse people because some people are fucking stupid like really stupid um to the point where it shocked me you know i wouldn't really class myself as that bright but i was just like wow you know like a new level of uh of intellectually challenged people that uh, have come forward in this crypto space uh but anyway let's have a look at the uh the biggest blocks on bitcoin so hopefully there'll be more than one of a megabyte block tau four megabytes uh unknown 10 megabytes another one tau's five megabytes oh 17 megabytes for unknown but again you know <laughs> No biggie for Bitcoin. And these amounts here that we're looking at are literally absolutely minuscule. You know, it's only these other shit coiners who would be uh, impressed with that. But to be honest with you, I don't even think they have the knowledge to be able to understand what that really means. Like, on honestly, they really don't. Uh, so before we go into the rest of it, let's just... So bear in mind here that Hathor is only mining 0.25 um, kilobyte blocks. They're literally like empty blocks. With nothing in it all the time. Hathor, Hathor. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Okay, so just bear that in mind when we are looking at these uh, B crash stats. Here we go. Because this is just simply uh, um, giving more conviction to my theory. So this, as we know, is, uh, is Bitchin versus Amory Sachet, uh, ABC. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and so this should correlate to the mining that CoinDance is reporting for B Crash. Uh, again, these massive shit coiners on it. You got BTC Top, Ant Pool via BTC, BTC.com, Bitcoin.com. Yeah, absolute lunatics. But but look at this. So so I I suspected when Hathor war suddenly um, appeared, I suspected that it was a chunk or, you know, a, a collusion of particular miners on the other mining pools. That's what I suspected in order to, in order to break it up. So now we've got here other mining pools, uh, again, you know, unknown. Uh, to um, they've got 65.6% of the hash rate on uh, ABC crash But look at this would you believe it is that not the same unknown 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 Exactly the same as Hathor So again, like I said, well, I'm gonna repeat myself now um, yeah, when, when Hathor was created, I suspect it was part of other mining pools because I suspect I had a suspicion as to who might be behind it. And now we've got unknown miners mining all the empty blocks on Bitcoin ABC, which means that all the other miners are actually going to have to put effort in to mining blocks that have actually got any data in it because all those empty blocks are just simply being chomped up by either unknown miner or Hathor. But I would say they're running on the same algorithm. You know, and that takes a, some deep understanding to be able to steal all the blocks that take that have no um, that require no effort to uh, to produce. <laughs> so so it's this is hilarious. They're making the other miners work. They're like, no, nah, you're not getting these easy blocks. You know, you could you could do one. So it's it this is brilliant. It's brilliant. It cracks me up, but um, yeah, like I said, it just it just confirms my suspicions that these unknown miners, you know, uh, or Hathor, Hathor were part of them. So yeah, but brilliant, brilliant. I mean, I love the politics that's at play here. It's uh, it's hilarious. So let's uh, let's crack on with the rest of these figures. Then here we go. Bitcoin hash rate by network. Yeah, we've seen this one. Uh, B crash just to you know increasing theirs a little bit. 
Again, you know, Bitcoin along the bottom, and that's uh, that's core coin at the top. Proof of work by network. Yeah, the other two will stop. B crash versus Bitcoin. B crash versus Bitcoin. Proof of work by network. Uh, figures here again. Take these with a pinch of salt because this is actually very more. It varies basically depending on uh, on core coin because it's it's comparative to. And then uh, mining profitability. They're saying it's currently 1.3% more profitable to mine on B crash and 0.8% more profitable to mine on uh, Bitcoin rather than core coin. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Oh, Bitcoin just squeezing in there before the show. Good, good. That's what we want to see. Transactions by network, Bitcoin winning. Transactions per block by network, Bitcoin winning. Fees USD, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees Satoshi's, Bitcoin smashing it. Because there is a, it is an electronic peer-to-peer -peer cash system. And uh, block reward ratio. Uh, yeah, you know, that will come with time. And this one, again, just laughing at B-Crash blockchain growth. <laughs> Comparison. Oh, my goodness me. Right, here we go. Uh, global hash rate, seven days. Looks like all the big boys are at the top again. Seriously, Coindance is going to do this to me in the middle of a live show. Up and down like a horse draws. Come on, sort it out. Come on, come on, come on. Don't want to see uh, Bitcoin just yet. Spoiling the surprise. Um, here we go. So, um, yeah. Seven days. That is, uh, we've got all the big boys at the top. Uh, F2 pool pool in btc.com, as we'd expect. Uh, Huobi just down into fourth place, followed by Binance and Ampool, the shitcoin enterprises. Uh, hash rate, 24 hours, global hash rate. So Binance is up there. Turning up the heat, loving that, now that the, uh, now that the prices seem to be on the move. Uh, BTC.com just being pushed out by via BTC again. Don't know what their program is like. Why they're mining B Crash ABC is just uh, beyond me. I just can't believe that people, you know, these these huge mining pools can be that stupid. But you know, Ant Pool, Binance, psh, you know, billion dollar enterprises, absolute nutters. So it just goes to show you, you know, you get you get the same sort of like differences in mentality at every level of society, you know. Even the rich ones, you're just like, wow, you're an absolute douchebag, even though you've got a billion dollars. Wow. <laughs> um, so this is Core Coin. Let's see who's on that then. So uh, uh, Binance and via BTC uh, increasing their hash rate on Core Coin as F2 Pool has. That is massive. I mean, F2 Pool, 31% of Core Coin hash rate. I mean, they have really ramped that up um, just now. <laughs> this is bitching. What are we looking at here? Like seriously, Ample with 53.4% of the hash rate on bitching. Like, oh dear, oh dear. And we've got BTC top via BTC, BTC.com. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird chain. I mean, not even Binance isn't even bothering with it anymore. <laughs> Come on, coin dance. Seriously, seriously. Come on. All right, let's, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Come on. Come on, let's let's do it. Load up. Let's see this bad boy. Here we go. So we have got Hathor. Oh no. Um, see if we can move that out. Maybe no. Okay. Uh, so we've got a uh, Tau with 34% of the hash rate on Bitcoin. Then Hathor with 31.9. Huobi. I mean, uh, these these other mining pools are woefully lacking. So we've got. We've got Tau mining all the big blocks. And let's just see what, see how many of these big blocks there were. So, um, yeah, Tau mining over megabytes, uh, four megabytes. Oh, unknown. A Tau with two megabytes, five megabytes. Unknown mined a 17 megabyte block. Oh, all right, interesting. Let's load this up again. So you've got Tal chomping away at the uh, blocks full of data. Hathor keeping all the shitcoin enterprises off the chain by mowing down all those empty blocks. And then we've got the other mining pools here fighting it out for uh, processing those other blocks. It's going to be really interesting in the future. Uh, really interesting in the future. So uh, after that, let's just have a look at uh, Bitcoin Blocks Live for any newbies that might be watching st that might have an interest to start watching my show when they stop being shitcoiners. But who knows? All uh, right, so we've got these are the transactions being broadcast to the network. These are the transactions going into the meme pool, and uh, and these are the uh, blocks that have been mined. Oh, look at that! All the transactions, 
Excellent, loving that, loving that. So if we zoom out, we are oh, that's oh that's the 17 megabyte block that we just saw. See if there's uh, any others if we go further back. How far back does that go? There we go. So that was the uh, 22 megabyte block that we saw just the other day. So that was three days ago. So yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, compared to other shit coins, these blocks are extremely impressive, but. <clears throat> <laughs> We're not even in competition with shitcoins. It's not about shitcoins at all. It is about enterprise adoption and utility and world money. It's got nothing to do with those shitcoins. Those shitcoins are just literally, literally like a bad smell. They just get in the way. They take resources away. They're a distraction, you know, and they're going to get people wrecked. Um, but it's it. We're really not, you know. Like I said, the only thing that uh bitcoin is in a race again is is in a race with is the is the block reward halving that's it we need to have masses and masses of utility and transactions on chain and people valuing the chain uh through you know wanting to have sovereignty over their own data that's what blockchain is all about but yeah oh uh it's always fascinating to see the uh the the chain i mean i remember being a newbie and not really having a clue what i'm looking at i'm just like what's what's all these transactions ids and inputs output and like what's a what's a meme pool <laughs> i didn't know anything i didn't know anything but you know i, I remember the days because there are going to be other people doing exactly the same thing that i went through so you know hopefully i can save them all the heartache and pain that i went through and just explain it all to them but Let's have a look at the shitcoin market. Here we go. So we've got, oh, uh, it looks like, looks like CoreCoin is plateauing out, but that's because the uh, shitcoin traders are just being shitcoin traders, thinking that Bitcoin is, or, oh, I called it Bitcoin. CoreCoin, thinking that CoreCoin has topped out because it's uh, near its all-time high. I'll just check it out. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. So, so all the shitcoin traders are now just thinking, right? Uh, Coolcoin has topped out. It's had a massive, you know, it's had an epic run, as we would say, from well, I mean, so that was what March basically. So March this year, uh, it's been on an absolute tear. So it's gone from um, five thousand dollars to eighteen thousand dollars. So like more about what three hundred and fifty percent? Yeah, if you if you bought in down there. Um, but you know now again because it's only shit coiners that have been piling in shit coiners because it's got no fundamental value whatsoever you know literally number go up ponzi 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 um, that is it so now they're just like all oh, right well uh, uh, we where else can we put our money because they've got no respect for bitcoin whatsoever literally they're just all like, oh, right well uh, let's just start putting into these other things before they start moving and you can tell because i mean look at xrp <laughs> xrp is pre-mined it's an absolute piece of shit an absolute piece of shit worth absolutely nothing and it looks like literally today so this was uh yeah 24 just over to like 24 hours ago um and it's what it's up 50 56 percent in the week let's see what it is today they're only 30 percent today i mean it's literally absolutely worthless all these coins are utter utter shit coins utter shit coins and cardano as well i mean <laughs> uh so xrp is pre-mined which means it burns in order to balance the ledger cardano just simply has centralized mining because charles hoskins couldn't think of anything uh, original uh, and he was just like, all oh, right, well, we'll just simply pre-mine it. Well, not pre-mine it, but we will mine it and then we'll offer it as an ICO. But only Input Output Hong Kong can mine it. Centralized mining, centralized operation, absolutely fundamentally worthless. Utterly worthless. And uh, up 15% in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Same with B-Crash. You know, I mean, it's just absolutely hilarious. Like, absolutely hilarious. Uh, EOS as well, 10%. I mean, like Stellar. I mean, it's just literally, it's just money flooding out from CoreCoin into the rest of the market because that's what these shitcoin traders do. They just spend all day looking at number go up. Honestly, it's such a shit show. Like, get a life, honestly. At least learn and respect Bitcoin. Uh, so I'll have a look at Bitcoin. I mean, oh, we're $190. Just comparing that to Preve. 
Uh, so Preve is currently oh, 190. Yeah, is that the current price? Yeah, that's the uh, is the according to uh, according to Coin Cap, Coin Crap. It's 190 dollars. Um, high of 195. Uh, low of 165. So yeah, yeah. you know. Nice, uh, nice, in nice increase. But uh, I mean, obviously, I was hoping I've I've got a lot more, <laughs> I've got a lot more, um, you know, uh, funds coming that I want to go in. So I'm obviously after like a lower price. But yeah, I mean, yeah, happy days. I mean, you know, people are happy and all that. But yeah, this is what you need to remember. In order for Bitcoin to succeed, and it's hard for people to think about Bitcoin as you know, as uh, I suppose independently, because everybody's looking at this. You know, I mean, every because what happens when you get excited, you know, you have positive cortisol flooding your brain. When put when positive cortisol floods the brain, you become selfish because it triggers the amygdala, and then all you're looking at is number go up. Oh, me, 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 me. Oh yes, my. Oh, I'm feeling so much richer today, but. If you can try and <laughs> try and push the cortisol out of your brain, chill out for a bit, stimulate your uh, your hippocampus, and think actually, th this is the bigger picture that we're after. This is a forty million dollar per BSV, and again, I'm not really in this for my own wealth because it's just like how much money do you really need? This is about taking power out of the hands of those who currently control the fiat money supply. That can literally, you know, deny your uh, payments. They can stop your bank from paying you. They can stop you from buying goods and services if you want it. They can put black marks on your credit rating so you can't get any money. They can do all sorts of things to you. And nobody can do anything to them. They are totally untouchable. This is what Bitcoin solves. And we only get this one shot. Like, we only get this one shot. And that's what I am in this for. You know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not in this just to sort of like make a million quid and then, you know, do one. Like, I, I'm fully behind this because I see the absolute turmoil and torment that it, and devastation that fiat currencies bring to the world. Like, I'm a businessman. So when I see these businesses closing down, it breaks my heart because I know that somebody has put their life and soul into that business. They have invested huge amounts of money trying to provide a good or a service that makes my life more comfortable. And it's failed for them through no fault of their own because money doesn't work. And this is what Bitcoin fixes. So rather than us just like now, you know, sitting at home, having to buy, you know, goods on Amazon and get them delivered and not having any like customer service or shopping experience or anything like that, because businesses are constantly having to cut costs and end up literally like you shelving everything that's of any pleasure whatsoever. Like when money actually works and the economy starts expanding, suddenly you can actually go back to having a pleasant shopping experience. It no longer has to be quick in and out, in and out, get the sale. It's just like, no, come on in, enjoy yourself, choose what you like, see our range of products, you know, service with a smile, get to know your local shopkeepers and all that. You know, have a little chin wag down your local coffee shop, tea and biscuits and all that. <laughs> that is what money is all about. And that's that's what Bitcoin is all about. It's not just simply about oh yeah, I need to get in here. I need to I need to get a million quid myself. Then I'll start thinking about other people. Just take it for granted. Well, I, yeah, I will not take it for granted. But I mean, you know, understand the the value of this thing that you're in on. So, for example, I saw uh, um, a post earlier today. Let me let's see if we can find it. Some some rapper had put like you know what six million dollars into Core Coin. Uh, he had like he put YOLO in his profile or something. YOLO uh, six six million. Oh, I have to put Bitcoin into this. I'm just trying to find it. God. Oh, oh, oh this is the one. A oh, rapper. Oh my god. Is this is this the one? Former rapper Logic buys six million dollars of core coin. And this is, yeah, this is yesterday. So this is just like uploaded two minutes ago. The Grammy nominated music artist said he um, said the move was a YOLO investment and even changed his Twitter name to Bobby Bitcoin. Oh my God. Prominent individuals are jumping on Bitcoin like never before. But again, it's not being reported in mainstream media because the mainstream media recognize that it's a Fonzie scheme. 
Literally, it does nothing. If the mainstream media started reporting on this positively, when it fails, they will have massive egg on their face. And they're not stupid. They're just like, look, what gives this thing, CoolCoin, its value? It does nothing. You know, but again, it's stupid people, like really stupid people, like kidding themselves, making up stories in their minds, you know, um, to, to fit their own narrative. Oh, yeah, well, uh, cool corn is this and cool corn is that and therefore X, Y, Z. No, you're talking absolute bollocks. You know, oh, we're, we're trying to justify number go up and everybody else is going in. Uh, that's called a Ponzi scheme. So everyone's just piling in and there's no utility there. Look at this. So this graph compares, so we've got cool coins price on the left hand side and then years uh, along the bottom and then Tether's market cap up the right hand side. So, so this, uh, this is the pink is the cool coin price. And as you can see, first of all, it sort of matches the, uh, the black line here, which is retail interest based on worldwide Google interest um, search something, search terms, Bitcoin. And you can see the rise in the price. That that's kind of like more genuine because it, it was the you know, whole world piling in. But then interest has tailed off. I mean, look at that. Why would anybody be interested in that piece of shit that does nothing? That you know, you you've got this network that does seven transactions a second that the whole world is piling into. You know, and these shit coiners that literally just look at price do not care about the functionality of this thing. Because they've been, they believe everything that they're told. Oh, it's not meant to use it. It's not meant to work. Oh, it's a store of value. Bollocks. It's just so ridiculous. Um, I don't know how they're going to, you know, explain. Or, they, I mean, they're just going to have to admit how stupid they were, you know, if and when it fails. Well, I say more like when, but, you know, there we go. But, I mean, look at that. Look at the increase in the price there. Google search is literally, like, flatlined. And yet Tether, the market cap of Tether, absolutely going through the roof. You know, I would say that literally mirrors Tether, you know, uh, and we know that literally Tether is just an utter scam. Um, and, you know, whoever's like printing that, using it to buy cool coin, again, they'll probably be like shipping it. You know, that's, well, that's probably why they're moving into the rest of the market, you know, trying to launder their ill-gotten gain. Well, <laughs> launder their absolutely, um, utterly uh, fraudulent money or, you know, crypto bollocks, you know, it's, uh, it's a shocker, but again, I mean, at least we here in Bitcoin know that that's coming. So yeah, we can uh, we can steer clear of that. But so uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. You know, I mean, uh, you know, number go up, woohoo! <laughs> so uh, as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, joy given. Catch you later. Buy BSV Live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and watch the full episode on Streamanity for just 20 cents. Go to www.satoshi.tv. See the link in the description below. Bitcoin. One world, one chain. Yeah! One vision.